Welcome to another edition of Royal Recap. I'm Sports Information Director Dale Eng, bringing you highlights from the last week of Bethel University Athletics. We'll start with some baseball highlights as Bethel played four home games last week. The Royals were still looking for their first conference wins of the season against the St. Mary's Cardinals, and they got them by winning 11-4 and 5-2. Then on Saturday, the Royals took on the Blue Devils from UW-Stout. The score tied 5-5. Sean Flaherty hit a solo home run in the bottom of the sixth inning to give the Royals a one-run lead. Then John Slick came in and retired the side 1-2-3 in the top of the seventh for his fourth save of the season in a 6-5 win. In the second game of the doubleheader, the Royals simply could not be stopped. Every starter got a hit, and the Royals scored in every single inning they came to bat, including four outbursts of five or more runs. Sean Flaherty went deep for Bethel, giving him three home runs in the series and four on the season, while Tim Osterlin and John Slick both joined the hit parade by dropping bombs of their own. Osterlin's home run was a grand slam and was the first home run of the season for him. Chris Harrell, Matt Johnson, and Jesse Nichols combined for the win on the mound. The Royals are scheduled to take on Northwestern, St. Olaf, and Gustavus this week. In softball, Bethel played four games and also got four wins with doubleheader sweeps over St. Mary's and McAllister. Kelly Berg had an outstanding week at the plate as she was 10 for 15, including three doubles and two home runs. The Royals are now 7-5 in conference play and 15-15 and overall. They will be at home against St. Thomas and Carleton this week before taking on St. Benedict on the road this weekend. Shifting gears to women's tennis, the Royals played just one match this last week as they hosted the Mustangs from Southwest Minnesota State University on Saturday afternoon. Bethel took a 2-1 lead after doubles competition thanks to strong team play from Ashley Dolan and Heather Richters as well as Kristen Nauman and Ashley Watts. Unfortunately, the Mustangs came from behind to win four out of the six singles matches to defeat the Royals 5-4. Bethel is scheduled to take on both Concordia and St. Benedict in conference play this week. Meanwhile, the men's tennis team will be in action against Concordia and Gustavus. Finally, in track and field, Bethel's men's team participated in the Tomcat Twilight on Friday night at St. Thomas. Jacob Murphy and Jay Quick finished second and third in the high jump, while Eric Rohde finished third in the 400-meter dash with a time of 49.44 seconds. Rohde was also on the 4x400-meter relay team that finished first with a time of 3.18.23, but the big news was that Dan Greeno finished first in the 10K at the Augustana Meet of Champions with an automatic NCAA qualifying time of 30.17.52. His time also set a new school record. On the women's side, fellow distance runner Marie Borner also earned an automatic qualifying time in the 1500 meter run, finishing just under four and a half minutes at the Manitou Classic hosted by St. Olaf. Carolyn Whitney finished second in the high jump with a season best leap of five feet, one and a quarter inches, while Michaela Otto and Abby Furlong also did well in the 100 meter hurdles, finishing in fourth and sixth places. The men's team will compete at the McAllister Twilight on Wednesday, while the women will compete at the McAllister Invitational on Saturday. That's it for this week's edition of Royal Recap. Be sure to join me next week when I'll have more baseball, softball, and track highlights. But in the meantime, the latest stories, stats, and schedules, be sure to check out athletics.bethel.edu. Thanks for joining me. I'm Sports Information Director Dale Ang.